so in this segment we're going to be talking about Lord Frost hailing the British Renaissance despite the empty shelves and fuel chaos. So this great British Renaissance, you know, using that, um, I think it's a French word or an Italian word there, the Renaissance, French, I think, saying that, oh yeah, Britain's facing a new dawn, the Renaissance has begun. Oh, I don't think a Renaissance begins with fuel shortages, food shortages, medicine shortages, a stagnant economy and rampant inflation. I don't think that's how you want a renaissance to start. I can't imagine Da Vinci saying, yes, you know, it's happening. Anyways, um, despite punch-ups on petrol forecourts, love that phrase, punch-ups, empty supermarket shelves and warnings of thousands of pigs being dumped in skips, Frost will tell the Tory conference the long bad dream of EU membership is over and the nightmare of being outside the EU begins. That's what he should have told them. In a speech to a scaled-down main event in Manchester, the British Renaissance has begun. It really hasn't. It comes despite warnings of a winter of discontent after a shortage of HGV drivers caused by supply issues to supermarkets and panic buying of petrol. Let's not forget here that certain um, areas in the UK are facing shortages of um, you know, refuge drivers, bin collectors, essentially. Um, and what that means is people's bins won't be collected. And that was one of the things in the winter of discontent. So a really disastrous situation. The pig industry has also warned animals could be shot and dumped in skips. Um, the UK is looking at allowing more um, butchers for, um, from abroad to come in um, and making changes regarding visas. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. And these pigs will be dumped um, rather than turned into bacon and sausages due to the shortage of abattoir staff great renaissance there industry chiefs have warned covid for permanently realigning the labor market as the hgv drivers quit their jobs during the pandemic or you can't blame the pandemic forever and in this case it did play a large part in it but there are you know the pandemic also hit the rest of uh, europe but they weren't impacted that badly were they however chiefs have also blamed the post-brexit rules that's the main reason which class eu drivers as unskilled when driving a goddamn lorry is a skill those things are massive that it's the closest thing you'll get to a tank on a road. With ministers having to offer 5,000 temporary visas when we have 100,000 driver shortage, so it's not going to make a dent. Johnson appeared to admit the issue is part of a period of um, adjustment after the disruption of the departure from the EU. And this is something Phil talked about where Boris Johnson saying this is all part of the plan. He's like, whose plan is this? Is this the Joker's plan to burn down the UK, honestly? The Prime Minister said he would not reach for the level of uncontrolled immigration, blah, 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 um, despite the fact that we are looking at an incineration of 12,000 pigs. But Boris Johnson doesn't get the difference between slaughtering an animal for food and slaughtering one um, because you threw a cull, basically. Yet, Frost will use his speech to talk about the Renaissance, which, if murdering a load of pigs um, is part, uh, culling a load of pigs is part of the Renaissance, having a you know, massive supply chain issues, having food shortages where um, one in six adults can't buy food essentials. If that's part of your great British renaissance and Britain's re-emergence as a global power, then I do not want to be a part of it, son. Do not want it. All history, all experience shows that democratic countries with free economies will, which let people keep more of their money, which they've earned and make their own decisions and manage their own lives are not just richer, but happier and more admired by others. So why is it that Scandinavia, which tax people more, but also give better services, uh, why are Scandinavians way happier than the rest of the world then? Because in, in, in reality, in a way, they have less money um, to spend because the taxes are higher in a sense but they also save money because they don't have to worry about healthcare, childcare, and um, you know, crappy education that we have in this country because of school cuts so why is it that they're the happiest people in the world riddle me that mr frost they are far more government control than um, other western countries yet they're the happiest people on the planet makes me wonder doesn't it maybe that you're full of rubbish um and these are more admired by others. You know, the countries to admire are the Scandinavian ones. That is where we need to take this country. The opportunities are huge. The long bad dream of EU membership is over. The British renaissance has begun. The British nightmare has begun. He will also challenge Brussels to be more ambitious to solve the issues around Northern Ireland. The Northern Ireland protocol, which um, Frost has basically said, you know, start resolving the issue or we're going to stop doing checks, the minimal checks that we do. 
the peer will tell Brussels to be more ambitious in their approach and warn that tinkering around their edges will not fix the issue. Um, this is stuff I haven't really had the time to talk about, but essentially we've talked about his command paper, the one he released, and he wants to rewrite the whole thing, get rid of the, um, the I think it's the European Court of Justice um, as well, the EU's highest court, so he's a joker. In an interview on Sunday, Mr. Johnson said a the great het hectacomb of pigs that you describe has not taken place yet. Let's see what happens. I think there will be a cull. It won't be as bad because they are getting more and more um, butchers into the country to work in abattoirs and things like that. But I don't think it's going to be great um, as is. But uh, yeah, what we can see from this is um, hailing the great renaissance despite massive crises in this country we're seeing energy prices shoot up yes it's happening globally but at being outside of the eu's internal um energy market is not great we're seeing france threatening off to cut off the lights um because of the um problems around french fishermen's rights around um, guernsey and jersey so again more and more problems that are emerging because of the um because of brexit really and this government but if that's all part of the renaissance then you keep telling yourself that, pal. You tell yourself that every night before you go to bed. All of the problems we're facing in this country are all part of the Great Renaissance. You know, we know the reality over here, Chief, that the country's in crisis and you have no idea what you're doing. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.